This tutorial is going to show you how to do basic animation to multiple photos at the same time inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This is great for slideshows if you want to add just a bit of subtle motion like a scale up and scale down but don't want to have to do that to each and every photo manually. I'm going to assume you know how to get photos inside of Adobe Premiere and so I'm not going to take time to show you that and I'm also going to use automate to sequence uh, and I'm not going to show you a whole lot of details about that because I'm sure there's plenty of tutorials out there for that. So I'm going to use everything as default there in order to get these down to the timeline and show you that some of my photos are way too scaled up, some of them are not big enough and so what this will do is get all my photos to where they look good plus automate some motion to them. So I'm going to select them all right click and say scale to frame size not set but scale what this does is it changes the clip property in order to show a scale of 100 this will help in our batch process so I'm going to toggle on my keyframe here and I'm going to set this to 105 you can set it to whatever you want this is just a value I like for the amount of motion that I need I'm going to extend that out for the entirety of the clip and at this point I'm ready to start adding my preset I'm going to click on motion, right click, and say save preset, and this one's going to be called scale up. So now what I can do is I can actually add that preset to every other photo in my sequence. So I'm just going to hold the shift key, and I'm going to click every other. And then I'm going to click and drag under presets over here. Under the effects tab, there's presets, and I my custom one is going to show up at the top. I'm going to click and drag that over to... Uh, my every other clip and now what I've done is I'd have, I've added motion to every one of those clips but now I want to do a scale down one because I like to scale up and scale down to add that motion what you might not think of on scaling down is to make sure this value starts above 100 so I'm going to start it at 105 and then I'm going to have it come down to 100 having it start at 100 and go down is going to show you the edges of your photos which you may or may not want but I definitely don't want that. I'm going to stretch that out for the entirety of the clip and then I'm going to make a preset for scale down. And then again every other is where I would want that to come into play so I can hold shift select every other and drag my scale down preset to that. Now as I watch my video I can see that I have subtle motion of scaling up and scaling down and I don't have to go in and do that for every single clip. This saves a ton of time but adds a lot of nice uh, feature to your video by having a little bit of motion. So if this tutorial has helped you in any way, uh, please let us know and we appreciate you watching. Thanks.